Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and it's a beautiful morning here at Ouagadougou International Airport. Uh, we've got several flights in already uh, and it's going to be a busy old day. It's uh, 7 o'clock in the morning and uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful Sunday. Uh, day two, year two. How, how the time flies. Um, anyway, uh, many of you have commented uh, with regards to the bathroom woe. Uh, not least of all with, uh, with our stalking friend here uh, as part of that arrangement. Uh, and uh, the solution that everybody, uh, well, led to was uh, just make the doorways uh, secure and uh, everything will be peachy. Well, there you go. I've done that. Now all we need to do is see if anybody decides to bite. There it is. No. Here it is. No. No, no, that's not it either. No, he was even, he was even uh, throwing the... Uh, in the bathroom shapes there, but has decided not to bite. Uh, well, well the, the, the debut use of the bathrooms is, is just going to have to wait a little longer, I suppose. Um, right, uh, let's go and have a look and see if we've got any contracts outstanding, because we're a little bit thin for planes coming in right now. You know, we've got, we've got some happening. Oh, what's going on there? This bench appears to be defective. And, uh, and these people are all sleeping next to it. And uh, at some point, I'm going to figure out a button for, oi, come fix me benches. Because uh, that'll be around somewhere. Uh, bulldozer, not it. No, we, I think we're just going to have to wait for a janitor to turn up. And because, you know, I'm, I'm doing clicking and stuff. And it's, it's just not, it's just not, I can, you know, it's, it's inviting me to change the color. We're just going to have to wait for it. Here we go. Mr. Spanner's look. That's it. You spanner that thing good. Uh, unbreak those benches. Quite how they have suffered a localized earthquake is a little beyond me, but uh, I'm sure uh, nobody was injured uh, as part of that. Come on, it would be better if you were a bit quicker here. There we are, perfect. All back in working order. Still no one in the bathroom. Shops still empty. Although no, that's well, that's well, okay. We've got franchise staff in there, I suppose. Um, do I need to do I need to open these? No, this they, they all seem to be uh, in business. Well, groovy. Uh, anyway, right for today's plan, um, what we're going to attempt to do is uh, is set up a baggage system. Now I've done the research. It was not cheap, uh, but I have done it, and uh, and with a baggage system in place, I will also uh, yeah brace yourselves. I will also endeavour to set up a medium gate. And I'm sure nothing bad will happen there. But, you know, I'm staring straight at this uh, bit of road that has been upsetting everybody for so long. Uh, this, this bit of, um, what do they call it? Taxiway, that's the stuff. Uh, taxiway Foundation and concrete, please. There you go. Everyone breathe easy again. Breathe easy, got it fixed. That's all good now. Uh, what I should probably do, however, is, is you know, get some workers in to make sure. Let's make sure I've got all these, these bits of, uh, yeah, all of that's, all of that's good. Uh, grand. Okay, let's get some construction workers in. They can do that while the, uh, uh, while the bombastic intro is, uh, is doing its thing. And, uh, I'll see you on the other side of that. Yeah, I've decided not to take quite such the uh, the free and easy uh, approach to contractors. I've only, I've only deployed five for this particular gig. It should uh, that should that should get them working in uh, in due course. Uh, right. Anyway, we're making we're making good money uh, despite the fact that our uh, our incomings are a little on the thin side at the moment. Uh, let's go and see if we've got any more contracts to line up, which we. Do not at the current time. I see. Uh, what is it, uh, accepted? No, that's done. These are these are the ones I currently have operational. Right. Okay. Splendid. Offered is where we want to live if we want more. So, excellent. You, you have to get up early in the morning to put one past me. Uh, now then, I'd, uh, I was intending to go and watch some tutorials about setting up a baggage system, but then I thought, where's the fun in that? So I haven't. Uh, and we're just going to wing it and see uh, see what happens. Now, I envisage uh, initially, as much as uh, the terminal is ripe for later expansion, uh, that uh, I'll stick a I'll stick a medium uh, uh, plane bay out here as a as a first pass. Um, 
uh, how that's going to pan out. TBC, uh, but, uh, but we'll, we'll go with that for starters. Uh, right, here we go. Strap in, we're going in. Uh, right, something to do with baggage. Do, 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 do. Uh, nothing so far. See, I haven't even looked to see where it is. I'm nothing but, uh, but a consummate professional. Baggage items, baggage belts, baggage bay. Okay, used for onloading or offloading cargo to or from service trucks. Requires at least two ramp agents to function. I have ramp agents. That's a good thing. Okay, so this does what? I need a service truck. Need a service truck. Shall I buy one of them now or should we set this up first? Let's set it up first. Uh, now, we're going to need some service road. So if we if we plan for for servicing something, I think that's probably a good way to go. Uh, let's uh, let's continue our our jaunt up here a little, because we're also going to need access to. Uh, you're going to need a you're going to need a big fat stand. Let's let's plan this out a little better, shall we? Uh, infrastructure stands stands are medium stand. Right. How much space do you want? Concrete, please. Quite a lot. Oh, and they're rather expensive. How much are you, you, you going to set? About 150 large. Okay, well, we can get to that. I may even take a loan. You never know. Uh, right, so if I were to whiz this around here to, I don't know, there, for example. Do we think that that service road would connect up fully? We can then run the taxiway around the outside. Because this is... We're doing this as a placeholder airport uh, to begin with, and if uh, and if it's moderately successful, we'll uh, we'll upgrade to something larger. I am making a reasonable turnover off these uh, light aircraft that are currently doing their thing, uh, but there is there is more money to be had here, and uh, and as such, uh, you know we should we should look to uh, to really exploit as much of the uh, offerings as we possibly can. So. If I'm going to bang that in there, it doesn't leave me a massive room for my boarding desk. The only concern I actually have is uh, with regard to the, the service road. But then, we could just bang it in there, couldn't we? And then everything's just going to work. He said, it's a theory. Uh, right, okay, so then we're going to need somewhere for uh, my baggage uh, doohickey. Which is the technical term? I thought it lived. I don't know. Did we? No, oh, it's down here. Look. Right. So how much? How big's that? Must be placed inside. Okay. Onloading or offloading cargo to or from service trucks, but it must be placed inside. Uh, you sure? Okay. So if I were to stick that in there, that's that's allowed apparently. Uh, now, that might be a good place for people to pick up their bags. Yeah, I'm going to need a desk somewhere for, for the checking in and what have you. And, and obviously, we've got people exiting down here already. Uh, and there's all my bus stops. So, about there would probably be good. Okay, right. We'll start out by uh, by expanding our indoor area. Um, and we'll see where that gets us. Uh, we'll also fill in this gap in the wall because... Uh, Apparently it's a security risk. Uh, you, you, know, you tell me. Uh, no, you can't build a wall until you've built some foundation there, chum. Uh, right, okay. Right, let's uh, let's foundation. Uh, about there. This is going to be the baggage hall. We can make it. We can make it quite significant in size, and then uh, then we have the opportunity to. Uh, to further expand it later. Of course, what this means is that I'm going to have to wait longer still uh, before I can um, uh, before I can actually build the baggage uh, the, the the gate that I need to make this this worthwhile. Oh, hold on, recurring flight. Let's get that signed while we're here. Uh, let's get that plumbed in. Might as well because I can get one flight in today. Uh, oh no, hold on, no. Yeah, I've used up all of my recurring flight areas. There. What? Where do you? What? 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 Right, yes. Oh, click the right one. Hey, that helps. Um, yes. Now, too late to move those, so we'll we'll plumb you in for tomorrow there, friend. Uh, you can sit right on there. We've got a we've got an opening, we've got a gap in the schedule. 
Uh, hold on, let's uh, let's take that a little bit further along. Something like that. There we are. Right, that's that booked. Magnifico. Easily distracted. That's what they call me. Um, now, what was I doing? I was going to hire some construction fools to uh, to do my construction tooling. Uh, where have I left them? And they're around here somewhere. No, it's not you. It's not this lot. It's these guys. Here we go. Everybody, get to work. Right, let's uh, let's up the tempo by a smidge here, so we can uh, we can get this happening without too much hanging around. Uh, and then we'll also we'll we'll bulldoze all of this because we're going to make this an extension of our maiden flight hall. Uh, and then I'm going to want one more bit of regular wall there. Perfect. No, 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 that was noises. What's this? Oh, go away. Spammers. Uh, yeah, I mean, I could buy the spam filter, but, you know, I can't bring myself to do so. Uh, right, then we will get some flooring on here. What are we rocking in there? This kind of parquet business. Uh, there it is. So, uh, given that I'm one for, for you know, uh, exclusive use of, uh, of hallway patterning, uh, if we turn that to there, that does look like the right stuff. Uh, and then... We'll uh, we'll do something we'll do something nifty with this. That's three. You were talking towards the edge of the wall, so it's three. Take down by three. Yeah. Oh no, hold on. That's the colour it is already. Oh, let's let's do something else then. Uh, let's take this kind of I don't know granite stuff. Yeah. Let's do that all the way around the outside. Yeah. Right. This is how this is how people know they're in a different kind of area. So I've been workforce there just standing around going, well, I'm getting paid, but I'm not really bothered what he's up to. Uh, and then we'll do two of these. Yeah. I could, I could do something properly geometric here if I chose to, but instead I'm going to do something that is very basically geometric because uh, that's how I roll. Uh, and then we'll do some... To, to, no, no, click that and then click on this. And then, because time is wasting, let's just, let's just make a, a, a pleasant little square. Now then, apparently baggage trucks are going to have to pick stuff up. I don't, I'm at a loss as to how this is going to work. Now that needs to, the, there needs to be a serv, ah, hold on. There needs to be a service road. Cannot be placed on walls, but you can place it there. See that to me says spanner plus road, right? And road is clearly service road. So what if I were to stick it down here? My my super huge baggage haul suddenly not looking quite so super huge. Oh, it's not even aligning properly. Thanks for nothing. Okay, well, such is life. All right, let's bang that in. Okay, we've got that. That's a baggage bay. Now, if I no, oh, well, I'm going to have to wait for the chaps to uh, to put that together. In the meantime, let's uh, let's make the the flooring less offensive. Uh, right, there we go. Now that's either shift change or they've just gone to go and get the bits that we need. All right, let's see what this looks like once it's hooked up and uh, interrogate it further. For those of you who already know how to do this, I imagine this is uh, rather wondrously uh, frustrating. Uh, right, baggage. Uh, airport baggage handling services disabled. This cargo bay cannot transfer baggage. Okay, good. See, that still says that still says right. Or maybe that's belt that it's looking for. Well, let's uh, let's try that. Okay, there's a baggage belt. And what can we feed that into here? No. Well, you've got these that it can could be fed into. I have absolutely no idea. Right, and we'll do that. Right, and then at least it's forming a lap, right? So that it can it can go around the corner. All right, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna monkey with the. Uh, don't get me wrong. I'm not obsessed by flooring or anything. Uh, well, no more than you've come to know me be obsessed by flooring. Come on, don't make this look like I really should have gone and read, read a tutorial on this. I should be able to figure it out. I'm a semi-smart kind of guy. This feels definitely like there should be some kind of truck access or something. 
especially since the description said it needed truck access. Right? I'm not wrong, am I? I, don't, I don't, you know, that, that feels... And, and I can't really run a service road inside the building. I, I think that's, that's going uh, to cause problems. However, what we can do is we can set up this service road over here. I did just choose service road, didn't I? So this road, like that. I'm going to assume that worked. And then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll sling it all the way up here. Look. All right, nice little dinky service road kind of an effort. This doesn't feel right, though. You know, it feels, it feels the opposite of right. Okay, well, look, that's the service road going in. It's not a very big service road, and I don't think that this is going to... You know, these aren't giving me any clues. Uh, airport baggage service connect... Some flipping... The cargo bay cannot transfer baggage. All right, well, look, let's carry on building stuff and, uh, and see if that leads us to, uh, to a result somewhere. But I am going to put the, uh, the major... How, if that's got to be built inside, that's got to be baggage claim rather than baggage dispersal. Baggage bay. All right, let's read it again. Used for onloading or offloading cargo to or from service trucks. Maybe it's this bit of belt at the end is the, uh, is the wizard we are seeking. So if I were to do that, cannot be placed on walls. What about, like, through the wall or some such? Or a, a door? Surely that, that can't possibly be right. Can we, t can we take it underground? All right, clicking on the belt itself does nothing. Stationed ramp agents both sides. Ah, now, ah, hmm. Okay, what if... There were a wall kind of separating it up the middle here. Now, I'm, I'm kind of resigned myself to that I might have to move this. Uh, or at least, you know, do a hectic amount of demolition. Because what I could see working well, would be that incoming baggage from a flight desk or some such comes in and then uh, gets, gets slung back out. And then maybe you use the belting system. Maybe there's a clue to be had there. Used for transporting checked-in cargo such as baggage. Underground belt. Underground belt. Underground belt. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you can go under the wall. And that's how you get it up and in. All right, well, what if I were to uh, do something like this? All right, how about that? Let's see if the, uh, see if the fellas can put that together. Now, that's an underground belt. Will it connect automatically to there? That is the uh, that is the question. How's the baggage truck going to get to that though? And this still looks to me as though it wants a bit of road. In fact, it's going to look exactly like the icon for building road infrastructure, public road, service ro service road. See, that's. That's that. Right. Now what do I do with it? We could knock out these bits of wall, but then I feel like I'm in the wrong I'm in the wrong part of the, 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 the effort here. Although my security is somewhat lax on the outside, so I think we can get away with that. So if I uh, if I bulldoze this Alright And then uh, and then took my service road just to the just to the inside edge, I don't think it will do without a fight. Uh, but we can certainly give that a try. Service road. Service. Thank you. Oh, no. Hello. Go. Right. Okay. Right. That appears to have worked. Um, it's unconventional to have your, your service trucks driving into the airport. And this is going to be, this is going to be a baggage handling bay depot thingy then. Alright, okay, right. I think I've got a... No, I, I, I haven't, but I think I've got a handle on it. 
Uh, we're just going to keep plunking away and see where it gets us. Service road. Concrete. Yep. That's it. Yep. And... Yeah, let's uh, let's just co let's hook it up the easy way. Now that might not allow for two-way traffic, but I'm I'm prepared to forgive that in the short term. Now, what are you telling me now? Can't do anything because the service is disabled. I'll worry about that presently. I am also a little concerned about what's going on at the end here. You know, where does where does the ba where does the incoming baggage go? Let's hook something up and find out. Uh, right, uh, items. We need a we need a check-in desk. Uh, right about. Let's see, see how we've laid these out. Okay. Right, something like this. Something like. Well, we could if we if we're just doing this as a temporary. You know, how does this work then? Let's just plunk that in there. And then we'll we'll lay as much belt as necessary to make everything happy. Uh, and then I need 250 grand. I'm even going to take out a loan, uh, which is fatal. It might take me quite a while to pay it back, but I'm prepared to spend the time paying it back in order to learn how this thing works. Uh, meanwhile, a couple more contracts, which is brilliant. Let's get those booked in. Uh, right, another CLM. They love their recurring contracts. They love it. Right, stick, uh, stick one in there. Uh, and uh, back it up. And Maple will stick that one in. Ooh, about there. So these are my two recurring recurring flight uh, desks. Uh, would be nice to get some some filler flights in as well. As much as I like the recurring flights because it's it, you know it's less work for me. Um, getting some filler flights in there would also be beneficial, especially since I've got rather a large capital investment coming my way. Who are these dudes? Why are you chaps looking shady? Probably best not to ask. Right, okay, ah, there we go. Now, we've got this baggage bay connection. Baggage handling service disabled. This baggage cannot connect baggage bay. That one. Okay. All right, so I've connected that up to the bay. But I'll, am I going to need some belts? I would have thought so. Uh, it's, it's, it would make sense to, to have some belts happening here. Otherwise, what are the belts for? Hold on. Uh, placed either inside or out. So get rid of that. Do this again. No, no, no. Give me the... Uh, do, there you go. Overground belt. Alright. Let's try that. Now, these look like they'll accept the end of a, a baggage doodah. Let's do both sides. Uh, let's fling that one onto there. I'm not. I'm not even that fast that uh, that I've created this kind of walled garden area with belts surrounding it. We're just going to have to see if that works or not. Okay, right. That's it, lads. Check it all out. Build it all up. Bosh, 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 bosh. And belts. Right. Speak to the desk. Airport badges service is disabled, but that's because I haven't turned it on. That's okay. Uh, let's build a queue here. We'll make this fairly basic. I apologise for just how how hideously ugly this is, uh, but uh, you know, life isn't always as attractive as it could be. I'm gonna I'm gonna make this queue make people feel like they're tantalisingly close to being served, and then uh, and then deny them that uh, in one fell swoop. Yeah. It's quite a nice queue. That one might not be long enough, but we're all we're after is we're going to see if the science works. Uh, let's. Uh, I'm going to sack all of my uh, all of my lads here for a moment because uh, we don't quite need them. Staff? No, it's not staff it's operations. Get out, all of you. Right. I think that gives me all of the uh, all of the bells and whistles I need. Oh no, I need trucks. Uh, a a truck. Let's not get carried away. Uh, that'll be under procurement. Right, now let's find procurement. Contracts, procurement. I need a baggage truck. Craft a service truck. Okay, conveyor belt system. Road checkpoint. Vehicle depot. Got all of those. Uh, can handle up seven trailers. Yeah, for baggage and cargo hauling needs. I'll take one. 
Right, okay. Do I need anything else in here? Uh, baggage handles, I've got that. Conveyor belt tilt tray. This conveyor belt tilt tray will enable you to divert baggage in different directions depending on its predetermined path. Well, that sounds like an upgrade, doesn't it? A generic baggage scanner, first line of defense against baggage contraband. Hmm. That needs a COO. Well, we, I don't. I, I, I think I've got a COO actually. Uh, where's the Where's the board? COO Inga Inga Peterson. She's the best in the business. Um, I'm 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 sure we could we could handle that. But I don't want to. I want to spend any more capital on this until uh, until we've got something rolling. Now I need two hundred and fifty grand to set up uh, my. Uh, uh, my medium-sized terminal, and let's say it's going to be a bit more than that in order to uh, to actually hook everything up so it works. Uh, loans. Hello. You will lend me seven hundred and forty grand. Okay, that seems like a lot. Payment plan: four days. No chance. And it's going to cost me four hundred and eight thousand in additional charges. Crikey. Okay, right. Well, I don't fancy my chances of paying that back, if I'm honest, friend. Um, uh, I'll tell you what we're going to do, is uh, is I shall now roll the game forward until I've got the cash to pay for this outright. How does that sound? Uh, yeah. So by the time you return, friends, uh, we'll be good to place a medium stand. 250 grand for a stand. I mean, I don't mean, you know. It's, it's acceptable, I suppose, but uh, but even so, it's rather rich for my personal pocketbook at the present time. Uh, so stop back next time, and uh, and we'll get that plumbed in. And chaos, I'm sure, will not reign here in Wagadougou International Airport. I've been Colonel Failure. Throw a like at this one if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to make sure that your flight does not leave without you. And I will be back very soon with more. Cheerio!